I'm Rob and today we're at the Deer's Hut in Griggs Green. The Deer's Hut was a, a 17th century former hunting lodge and it now sits at the entrance to the old Thorns Hotels complex. And the pub is right on the Shipwrights Way and the Shipwrights Way is a, a 50 mile long distance path. It goes from Bentley through Alice Holt Forest all the way down to Portsmouth Dockyards and there are these little sculptures all the way along. So from the pub we're going to head in this direction. We turn off to the left. I think we can safely stay past the old blacksmiths as the cottages of the old Forge Amble Cottage and the Smithy Ground. <laughs> and we're going to take this track through the woods. So we continue on the shipwright's way into the woods. And we've got some exotic friends over there. Got some llamas I believe. Uh, with Woodside Cottage on your left, you come to a little fork of paths. One goes into the woods, and the other main track, which is the Shipwright's Way, continues to the left, and that's where we're going. And we're heading off down this track towards Foley Manor. So here's the first glimpse of Foley Manor. This is Foley Manor. It's a mid 19th century Italianate country house. It's got an orangery, it's got a lodge, it's got stables, and it's got a lot of estate grounds. We've just met the gamekeeper, nice chap, told us about uh, different aspects of uh, gamekeeping on the, on the park. It's owned by a chap called Northcott, and he owns several pub chains, and also the Pet City brand. Lovely estate walls, lovely moss up the trees that you get in these damp, watery areas. And the first sight of the ponds that are on the estate. At the gates of the Foley Manor estate, you have an impressive statue of Lord Strathnairn. And Lord Strathnairn was uh, commander-in-chief in India in the 1860s. No particular reason the statue's there, apart from it looks good. And a former owner erected it there. just in front of the statue, another lake. But we turn left along the Rhododendron Drive. So we carry on onto the golf course. So a very nice course. I'm not sure it may have been designed by Peter Alice, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, there's a marker post here and we're taking this little footpath off to the right. Enjoying the course. On this part of Liphook Golf Course, literally right here marked on the map is Tumulus, or burial mound, but uh, it's been so sculpted you can't really tell. That could be it, maybe. The path now leads off the golf course 
and we'll soon come across Wheat Sheaf Common. Always a good but a bit obvious warning if you're walking over a, a golf course. So we haven't left the golf course behind as I thought, it's still there on the left hand side, but the path is very very well defined. So I always joke that I think January's the spring. Well here's some proof, there's some gorse popping out now, isn't it? From the signposts at the end of the links, it's a series of paths, but we take the path that leads into this little bit of woodland. It's not quite as well defined as the paths we're used to. A little short bit of woods and then you see another sign and the road and we turn right onto the road. I could see on the map that the railway was there, the Portsmouth to Waterloo line, but I couldn't see it. It's very well hidden. And it's very quiet today, this is the first time you've actually been able to see it. I don't know if it's a rail strike day or what, but uh, yeah, I haven't it heard is. it. It is a rail strike yeah, it day. A, it is a railway strike. Well rail. done Trev, Trev knows all about rail strikes. What else can you tell us about <laughs> rail strikes Trev? Nothing at all, but I used to work there. Oh dear. <laughs> at this point on the road we come off to take the path through the woods. So you can just see in the field there, a horse trials area. Now Lip Hook is very, very, very horsified. They've got an equine hospital and I know that because uh, they were a customer of mine one time and uh, went into the operating theatre. <laughs> Funniest thing I've seen in my life, there was a horse lying on its back with all four hooves in the air being operated on. I'm sure he got better but uh, it did look rather funny. Um, there's also near Lip Hook um, an Argentinian polo pony breeding centre just out the other side of Lip Hook and they were also a customer and if you go through the back issues of the Argentinian polo pony times in Argentina you'll see some pictures of me <laughs> anyway Mr Ward is just pointing out there's some lovely bracket fungus on this tree so uh, have a look at that oh, that's rather nice that. Looks like the Rendlesham Forest UFO. <laughs> it's like a clam the next one. I don't know if this is what's called chicken of the forest. I know that grows on tree bark. Now at this point we carry on along the bridle way and we very very fleetingly join the Sussex border path shortly. Just emerge at this gate and we're just crossing over, carrying on along the woodland path. It's where we join the Sussex border path for a very, very short few yards. The Sussex border path itself reaches 150 miles in length and it basically beats the borders of Sussex with Hampshire, Surrey and Kent. When you reach these imposing gate pillars for home park, you're not carrying on straight ahead but turning right and this is Folly Pond on our left hopefully we get some better shots of the pond and the ducks and wildlife it's quite closed in by rhododendron a lot of rhododendron on this estate at the top of the drive on the left we take the footpath which hopefully will skirt the north part of Folly Pond and we get some better views and we're out back onto the road Ah, hallelujah, there's the pond. A lovely view of Folly Pond. And the building across the other side of the pond is uh, Forest Mere, which is a Champneys establishment. More about that later. Very, very full up at the moment after all this rain. So 
know, lots and lots of ducks on the pond. I'll just tell you a bit about Champneys and we'll get back on route. So this is Champneys. It's a hotel and health resort. It opened <laughs> in 1925. It's the first health farm in the UK and at that time it was called the Nature Cure Resort. So as I say, we've come off piste a bit just to take a look at Champneys. Forest Mere. I think actually um, Kenwood, if he didn't live there, he lived somewhere close by. He's the chap that uh, founded the Kenwood Food Mixer Group, which had their headquarters in Haven. So we've turned around, come back, and we follow the public bridal way down here, back into the woods. While we're talking about uh, celebrities, Lip Hook has been home to Sir Terence Conran and he's the great 20th century designer and retailer and also Flora Thompson who's the lady that wrote Lark Rise to Candleford and you know I say where there's grass tussocks there's water there's proof of my point just carry on straight through these woods, ignore any little side paths that are off and stick to this, this main path. And just keep going when you reach the house and the sign. Keep going on the public bridle way. No, he's being a good guard dog. Now I live close to the woods, but that is very, very close. Very, very nice indeed. Careful at this bit where the path forks. You don't take the right one. You take the left one off towards Holly Hill. Continue to the right at this point. Now up over the rise is the Old Thorns Golf Course and Country Estate. It's quite a popular leisure place in this part of the county. Lots of hen parties and all sorts of things get in there. Anyway, we carry on to walk underneath the power lines. Keep your eyes open for signs. We don't go left here, which takes you up onto Holly Hill. We go straight on, and the sign is hidden in the bushes there. Get prizes for spotting it. <laughs> and we come down out of the woods, and as you can see, there's the old Smithies cottages and the pub. So we're going to make our way back onto the road, back out to the pub. Well that was a great lakeside and woodland walk. Very nice around the old estate there. It's about five miles and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. And now it's a bit of a treat. This is a 17th century pub. I'm dying to see what it's like inside. So let's go and take a look. Oh, and like and subscribe.